Hard times require character. Hard times require resolve. Hard times require spirit and heart. We must be strong in hard times. The question isn't, will hard times show up? Because hard times will show up. The real question is, will you show character? Will there be moments where you want to give up? Yes, that's for sure. But what are you made of? Sometimes life is so hard, we feel we just can't find the strength to keep going. Well, I'm telling you to keep going, to show some character, to build unbreakable character. Sometimes in life you have to fight back. You must be strong, show character, and prevail. You see, no one on this earth is exempt from hard times. We all suffer setbacks. We all have challenging events arrive in our lives that we have no control over. But the difference in the quality of life we live is how we respond to those events. Do we show character in tough times or do we crumble? Mike Tyson once said everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And I'm telling you guys, that is how most of you live. Everything is just fine until life punches you in the mouth. Everyone shows great character until something goes wrong. Are you going to show great character when life punches you in the mouth? Will you get back up? Will you fight back? What are you made of? Will you be strong or will you be out for the count? Give up like the majority or show character like the minority? You need to work on your character. No one is handed down character. You don't get it for your birthday or for Christmas. You get it by working on yourself every single day. You get it by remaining strong in the hard times. You get it by sticking it out. The truth is that life punches all of us. The sad part is that the majority choose to stay down. They choose to give up on life, give up on living their dream. Never give up. Show your character. Show me what you are made of. Prevail. Even when no one believes you can. Even when you have no right to believe things will turn around. Trust. Things will turn around. Never give up. Show your character. Show me what you're made of. What are you made of? It is in our toughest of moments that our greatest character is formed. When you're going through a hard time, remind yourself, this will not break me. This will make me. Every day, you have two choices. I will survive this day or I will thrive this day. I choose to thrive. I choose to show the character of a champion, the strength of a warrior, the heart of a lion. Find your why. Your why will pull you up when you feel like you don't have the strength to get up anymore. Your why will keep you fighting when everyone else thinks you are out for the count. Why? Who are you fighting for? What drives you? Show me your character and what you consider to be one of your worst days. When you give a deeper meaning, may well turn out to be one of your best days. Never forget that all progress takes place outside of your comfort zone. If you want your muscles to grow, you need to push them past the pain, baby. If you want your character to grow, you must push yourself through the pain. Push yourself through. And don't just survive, grow. Life is a test. It is only a test. Show how strong you are in hard times. And you can thrive in any time. Find your vision and follow it. You see, I think it's the most important thing that we have a very clear vision of where we go because you can have the best ship in the world. You can have the best cruise liner, but if the captain does not know where to go, that ship will drift around the world and out there at sea and will never end up anywhere. And this is exactly the way it is in real life. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, you just drift around. 
This is why it is so important to have that vision. Now, I created that vision in Austria because I grew up after the Second World War. Austria, right along with Germany, lost the Second World War. The problem was that everyone was so depressed because they lost the war that there was alcoholism everywhere. There was, of course, depression. There was a terrible economic situation. There was famine. There was starvation and all those things. And also it was kind of a little place and narrow. I felt kind of, I wanted to get out of there. I wanted to escape. One day I was fortunate enough to see a magazine. And it was a bodybuilding magazine. And on the cover was this very muscular guy. I read the article as fast as I could, learning about how he grew up in Leeds in England, poor, and how he trained five hours a day, every single day, and trained and trained and trained and lifted weights, and then he finally became Mr. Great Britain. And then he became Mr. Universe. And then he won a second Mr. Universe title and a third Mr. Universe title. And then all of a sudden he landed in Rome in Chinichita doing Hercules movies. His name was Reg Park. And as I read, I became more and more certain about my own future. As I read this story, I was so excited, so interested. I knew exactly that I wanted to become another Reg Park. I had that vision very clearly laid out. I was so happy that I knew exactly where I was going. From that moment on, everything that I did, no matter how hard I had to work or how much I had to struggle, it didn't matter. It was a wonderful joy ride because I knew what the purpose was and I found my passion. The simple truth is, if you don't have a vision, if you don't have a goal, if you don't see your future laid out in front of you, you're just floating around without a purpose. And I think that the numbers speak for themselves. This is why so many people around the world are unhappy with their jobs. I always smiled when I worked, no matter how hard I worked. I remember in the pumping iron days, people asked me in the gym all the time, why are you smiling all the time? Why are you so happy? I tell them always, I say, I smile because I know exactly that every rep that I do, that every set that I do, every weight that I lift, I get one step closer to turning that vision of mine into reality and becoming that Mr. Universe. I could not wait to lift another 500 pounds in the squats. I could not wait to do another thousand sit-ups. I could not wait to do bench press, more bench press and more curls until I couldn't move my arms anymore. Because I knew that every rep got me closer to standing on that stage as a champion. As a matter of fact, when I lifted weights, I didn't really feel like I was lifting weights. I felt like I was lifting a trophy over my head each time I lifted. And to have all those bodybuilders around me and thousands of people screaming. Never ever think small. If you're going to accomplish anything, you have to think big. You have to go and shoot for the stars. The biggest challenge most people have is because they think small. And the reason why people think small and why they choose small little goals is because they're afraid to fail. They know that if you shoot for a big goal, then the chances of failing are very high. that the only time you really consider the failure is if you fall and you don't get up. But if you get up, you never consider the failure. So I never considered myself a failure. I always considered myself a winner, even though I fell every so often. But I always got up and I always moved forward. I never had any patience, of course, for sm thinking small, because in German we have a saying, wenn schon, denn schon. And that means that if you do something, then go all out and do it well. And this was not just the case in bodybuilding. I didn't just want to be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the greatest bodybuilder of all times. I wanted to have the most muscle, the, the most muscle of all times, the most definition. I wanted to win the most trophies, the most world championship titles. I just wanted to be the best.
And the same is also in movies. I didn't just think about being in movies. No, I wanted to be a movie star. I wanted to have above the title building. I wanted to become the highest paid entertainer. I basically wanted to be another John Wayne. What's wrong with that? So remember, never think small, think big. Nobody ever stumbled upon success by accident, except maybe the guy who found gold in uh, California. But don't ever think that you can be that guy. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I always believed no stone unturned. Work your butt off. That's what I always believed. No matter what you do, work, work, work. I remember Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he, when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't know, because I start counting only when it starts burning. You see, that's what makes you a champion. It doesn't matter in what area you're in. No pain, no gain. I mean, it drives me absolutely nuts when people say, I don't have time to work out. What the hell are we talking about here? I mean, the day is 24 hours, you sleep six hours, so you have 18 hours left.